umbilical artery Doppler measures the velocity of blood flow inside the umbilical artery. Let's examine this part of the umbilical cord. During history, the blood flow is very fast. This depends on the fetal heart contraction. During diastole, the blood continues to move forwards towards the placenta. But this depends on the placental vascular resistance. Doppler study will examine these velocities and represent it graphically on the ultrasound monitor. In normal pregnancy, the healthy placenta has a low vascular resistance. In this graph, the highest point on the cardiac cycle is the peak systolic velocity, referred to by the letter S. And the last point on the cardiac cycle is the end diastolic velocity, referred to by the letter D. As you see, the end diastolic velocity is high, and in this example, it's nearly one half of the systolic velocity. And this is due to low vascular resistance in the healthy placenta. From these values, I mean S and D, we measure the Doppler indices. I'll talk about the indices a little bit later. But now let's see what happens if the vascular resistance increase inside the placenta. With increasing the placental vascular resistance, blood flow will slow down during diastole. On the graph, the in-diastolic flow will decrease. With more rise in placental vascular resistance, blood flow will stop completely during diastole. And it will present as absent in diastolic flow. With more and more rise in the placenta resistance, blood will move back during diastole. On the graph, it will present as reversed in diastolic flow. To summarize, with low placental vascular resistance in healthy pregnancy, the end diastolic velocity is high, but with increasing the placenta resistance, it will decrease, then become absent. and finally it will be reversed. When you mark the peak systolic velocity and the end diastolic velocity, their values will appear on the screen. Here is the value of the peak systolic velocity. We'll give it the letter S. And here is the value of end diastolic velocity will give it the letter D. And the program will predict the average velocity during the cardiac cycle, will give it the letter A. Then it will calculate the Doppler indices, SCD ratio, resistance index, and the pulsatility index. The SCD ratio is a peak systolic velocity divided by the in-diastolic velocity. And in this example, it's 2.17. The resistance index is the difference between S and D, divided by S. And in this example, it's 0.54. The pulsatility index represents the difference between S and D, divided by the average velocity. And in this example, it's 0.76. Now we ask whether these values are normal. To find the answer, go to the website perinatology.com. 
The link is present in the description. Introduce gestational age in this box, then press calculate. The 50 and 95 percentile of the Doppler indices will be calculated. Abnormal results are those more than 95 percentile. Now let's analyze the results of our patients. As you see, all the indices are less than 50 percentile, and these are normal values. Another method, parenthesis short for umbilical artery pulsatility index, and the link for the reference is present in the description. Any result above the 95th percentile is considered abnormal. Let's analyze our patient results. Here you see the PI less than the 50 percentile, which is normal value.